Team India fine-tuned its T20 World Cup preparations with a convincing nine-wicket win over Australia in its final warm-up game at ICC Cricket Academy Stadium. KL Rahul also batted very well and scored 39 runs in 31 balls with the help of three sixes. Few days back, Rahul played a brilliant innings of 51 runs in the warm-up game against England. The 29-year-old scored 626 runs in the recently concluded IPL. In a special chat with NNIS Sports, former Indian chief selector MSK Prasad says that Rahul is in very good form and he can be destructive against the bowling unit of any team. Yeah, I'm very happy the way the way we uh, we our boys have done well in uh, um, uh, the way our boys have done well in the, the warm up games. Uh, I think uh, all the batsmen have got good time to get some runs under their belt. And um, so is, I'm also happy with the way uh, fast bowlers uh, Shami and uh, Bumra have bowled. And uh, even uh, uh, even uh, Bui looked uh, better in the second game. Uh, he ran well. And, you know, uh, so overall, if you look at it, I think uh, we are in the right frame of mind to uh, get into the World Cup uh, uh, and play against Pakistan on, on that 24th. See, he's in sublime form and he shouldn't be disturbed there at that order. And uh, I think uh, I think he's hitting the ball very well. And if uh, somebody is in that kind of a frame of mind, uh, he can be destructive against any side. So I think uh, it's a it's a wonderful sign for Team India. And uh, if, and Rohit also joined the party today. Um, he, he got runs. And uh, so overall, I'm I'm very happy the way uh, the entire team. It's not just about one individual. Everybody has uh, you know looked in a good, good touch and. Um, once you wear that blue jersey, you are a different, uh, a different player and a different uh, combination. And I'm very happy overall. Uh, and also, Team India management and uh, MSD adding to the, uh, adding to the team has really added that uh, spice to the play. I mean, yeah, it is a little bit concerned because uh, what happens if uh, if our fifth bowler, one of those, uh, you know, if you're going with five bowlers and Hardik not bowling, that's mm, and the, but that's the reason probably why Virat has bowled a couple of overs today. And or, uh, but uh, you know, it's, uh, but uh, since our team is very uh, clear about Hardik Pandya batting at number six because he plays that roles to perfection. You know, he will definitely add value to the side. Uh, I don't, I don't know how we are going to balance it out, but uh, but that's okay. I mean, I think we have come to the terms that he is going to bat at number six, and uh, somehow we'll try and pull out. Uh, uh, rotate our bowlers or, uh, or get one or two over some Rohit or uh, or Virat. Looks like that. Yeah, see, Varun and uh, Jadeja are definitely there. But uh, you know, if uh, if you're going uh, and Ashwin, Ashwin also started bowling well, and Rahul Chair also. You know, if they have too many right-handers, then Rahul Chair can be handy. So it all depends upon what kind of a surface that they're going to play on. Um, and also see the opposition composition and then pick. Now you have, you are spoiled for choices. Now you have uh, all all departments, all uh, bases covered. So if you if you come out with the right uh, combinations, I think uh, I think we have a wonderful team. You never know because on the T20 is all about who plays well on that particular day. The compositions wise, if you see England looks a good side. So is West Indies. West Indies also looks like a good set, but they, though the other day they, they didn't play to the best of their potential. But uh, even for that matter, uh, Pakistan is also a decent side in T20 format. So I think uh, you know these three sides are really uh, 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 really good uh, if you see on paper actually, apart from India.